Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in this tutorial video we're going to be having a look at how to create a PHP file uploader with progress bar. Now this tutorial video is going to be dependent on the previous series which I did. I tried to separate them out because um, I wanted people to be able to use the PHP file uploader without the progress bar but if you want a progress bar so just quickly have a browse through that um, series and you'll be able to follow with this. You may be able to follow with this without watching that but I think it might be harder than usual so I um, I urge you to have a look at that first before diving into this okay so let's have a look at what we're going to be making so now let's just choose a file here in our new uploader and uh, let me select one of my pictures and we click on upload when I do you should see a progress bar showing at the top now that happened very quickly but as you can see it went from nothing to 100% so that's what we're going to be making and the file has been uploaded to the server unfortunately I didn't add a feature where it is automatically lays it out here but maybe in a later video we'll add that functionality but for now what's um, important is just the progress when we refresh this you should see the new file being listed in the list of files here let's refresh and as you can see it's been done here but just one point to note though guys this is just an experimental feature um, I will advise you to do a bit of research and just check the browser compatibility for this feature which is the uploader because it might not work on every browser especially IE I will I might do some further tutorials to make it compatible with Internet Explorer maybe 9 and above but if I remember correctly I think it's not compatible with those browsers so before pushing it out to production make sure you do your testing first okay so with that out of the way let's actually go ahead and just have a recap of what we had in the previous series so previously, for those who haven't watched that series, what we had is when we're selecting a file, after clicking on the upload, we instead of the um, progress bar being shown, we're taken to another page which says um, file upload successful. So this is what we have, and this is not pretty. This is not nice because it's taking us to a different page, and the whole page is being reloaded again. So what we want is just just see a progress bar at the top here. So with that out of the way, let's go in the code and actually check that out. So I've just made a few additions. I've added some pretty um, little CSS up at the top here. Initially, we just had this form CSS styling here, but we actually don't need that in this tutorial video because we're not going to be using a form. And next, um, let's remove this form opener here and the closing form as well because we're not going to use that. We're going to use JavaScript to asynchronously um, send files to the server. So let's put this file tag here into sorry file text into a label tag and give this file um, property here so a file tag here uh, an ID of file upload okay so next also let's give this one an ID of submit because we're going to need that so JavaScript can target it easily. Okay, and last but not the least, let's include our JavaScript file. We haven't um, written anything in it, but we'll do so shortly. So it's in a JS slash main.js. Okay, so this is our JavaScript file. That's all we've added in this tutorial video. As I said, all the other folders are the same exactly like the previous series, and the upload.php is exactly the same. So do not change anything unless you want a different kind of functionality like multiple file uploads which we might actually do in another video okay so here we are in main.js inside of an anonymous function and the first thing first thing we need to do is select our properties on the page so let's select the submit button using javascript and we put it in a variable called submit so let's just say document.getElements by id what's the ID of, of uh, submit button it has a ID of submit next let's select our file upload and same we're going to do document dot get element by ID and we select it by using the file upload ID that we have just given it in a few seconds back and last but not least let's select the progress which I will explain what it is right now so document.get element by ID and we select the progress bar. Okay, I did not mention anything about the progress bar, but let's do that quickly. 
and what that's going to do is it's going to show us what level we are in the um, upload um, cycle.